welcome back to Live Aligned. My name is Liv and today we have a Pilates class using our prop, the Magic Circle. So if you don't have a Pilates ring, that is fine. You can still do this workout without one. It might just feel a little bit different and you'll just have to leave out a few bits and pieces. But if you still want to get moving, you can still do this class. All right. So let's start lying down onto our backs. We're going to bring our legs up into tabletop, pressing the lower back down, floating those knees above the hips, shins parallel to the ceiling, and bring that circle between your hands, rolling the shoulders down and back. Let's start by pulling that circle down in towards the chest and squeezing into the circle towards the center. Release and reach back to the sky. So Press that lower back down, pull the abs down, drawing that circle down and in towards the center. And release, that's it. Keep going here. Warming up through the chest. Good. Now let's separate those legs hip distance apart. As we squeeze that circle in, let's tap our right toes down towards the mat. Bring that right leg back to tabletop and release. Let's alternate. Left leg taps down, squeeze into the circle, release and reach. Let's do eight more. So eight. That's it. Tapping your toes as far away as you can from your body without lifting your lower back. So drop the ribs to the hips. Five. Keep squeezing into that circle. Four, three, two, good, and one. Lovely. Okay, let's squeeze those legs back together. We're bringing the circle behind the head. So I like to place one pad behind my head and then the other pad underneath both hands. From here, we're coming into a curl. So exhale, curl, lift the head, neck and shoulders. Now we're holding that curl, we're extending our right leg out straight, pulling it back in, extending the left leg, that's it, and in, and then rest the head down to reset. Let's go again, exhale, curl, hold, extend the right leg, extend to the left, and rest back down. So we're not pressing too much into the circle with our hands. We're just supporting our neck. We still want to really recruit our abs here to lift ourselves up. The lower you extend your leg, the more challenging you might find this exercise as well. So you can always extend your legs up to the sky a little bit more, or of course a little bit lower. That's it. Really dropping ribs to hips as you curl up. Beautiful. Let's see if we can do a double leg stretch now. So we're going to curl up, legs squeeze together, extend both legs and in. Both legs and in. We'll do one more and then we'll rest the head down and reset. Inhale, reset. We're doing this twice more. Exhale, curl. Extend both legs. And then, of course, you could do single leg if you prefer. Once more. Good. And rest the head down. Whew. One more round. Exhale, curl, hold, extend. That's it. Press the lower back down. Two. Good. And last one. Three. Ooh, and come on down. Well done. So we'll keep those abs nice and warm. And then we're going to get into our legs and inner thighs as well. So let's place that circle now between the knees or just above the knees where it's a bit more squishy through the inner thighs there. Feet at hip distance apart. Arms come to relax down by the side. We want to squeeze into that circle as hard as we can. So exhale. Squeeze into that circle. Inhale, release. And again, pressing into that circle. 
Sometimes you need to adjust the circle just to make sure it's not pressing into the knee joint or anywhere that's really uncomfortable. Starting to lift through the pelvic floor and pulling through that core a little bit more. That's it. Keep going here for another five. We're pulsing in four, three, two, squeeze on one, and little pulses in as tight as you can. That's it. Try not to release the circle completely. We're going to keep pulsing for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze into that circle. Bring your legs hip distance apart. Reach your hands up towards the sky. Let's reach. Let's push through the heels. Lift the glutes up. Hip bones to ceiling. Pause at the top there for a moment and lower back down. Let's make sure the knees don't start to creep out. So keep squeezing into that circle. Push through the heels, big squeeze through the back of the legs and lower. We've got six more. Push down, bring the core in nice and tight here as well. And lower. You've got five. You can always have your arms by your side if you prefer. Four. Almost there. Three. Keep squeezing into that circle. Two, good, and last one, big lift, pause, and roll down, good job, grab that circle for a moment, if it feels good for you, just bring the feet together and let the knees fall open for a release through the inner thighs.
Inhale in the transition, exhale, and stretch. Inhale, and exhale. Just a couple more here.
and five. Well done. Lower your knees. Ooh. It is supportive, but it is still tricky. So good job. Circle goes off to the side for a moment. Knees come out wide and walk your hands forward just into a child's pose stretch. Take your breather. towards your knees and coming up to receiving position. So we're working into our last exercise. It's a bit of a full body one. Here you're going to get shoulders and arms, tricep, core, bit of glutes and hamstrings as well. And coordination. This one is a bit of a coordination challenge. So we're coming back onto your hands and knees. This time we're bringing the circle underneath the right hand and we'll bring that circle to the outside of your mat. Your left hand will come down onto the mat underneath your left shoulder. Abs pull up, knees are under the hips. We are going to extend our left leg behind us as we press down through that right hand. So keep that left leg back and push down into the circle at the same time. And then pull the knee in and release. That's it. Press the leg back, big squeeze through the glutes, lift through the core, press down through the circle, and release. That's it, let's do three more here, just like this. Take it slow and controlled. Press down and extend. Pull it in. Last one. Good, now we're adding on. So we're going to extend the leg, press down through the circle, and open the leg out to the side as far as we can. Keep pushing through that circle. Bring the leg back behind, pull the knee in and release. Four more, just like this. Push into the circle, extend the leg, open the leg, bring it back behind, and pull it in. Three, open, Two, pull up through those abs. And last one. Keep breathing. Keep the leg lifted in behind you. And pulse through that hand for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just keep the hand where it is. You don't have to press down into the circle. Flex the foot, bend the knee, and donkey kick pulses to the sky for 10. Nine, pull up through the core for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, bring it in. Just place that circle down. Pull that left knee and shin and foot through for your pigeon stretch. Extend your right leg behind you. Sit up nice and tall, just lengthen for a moment. Breathe. And option two, walk it forward into a forward fold. Good stuff. Let's do the other side and then we're done. We're swinging that back leg around. I'll just turn around so we're on the same page. This time, the circle is underneath the left hand, out to the side of the mat and the right hand is underneath the shoulder. So we're extending the right leg this time. Let's push into the circle and extend that right leg behind, lifting through the core. Pull the knee in and release the circle. Four more. Press down, extend and release. We're taking it nice and slow and controlled. Three. Two, push down as hard as you can into that circle. And last one. Just like this. Awesome. Let's add that extra layer with your leg. So press down, extend the leg, keep pressing down through the arm, open the leg out to the side, back behind, pull it in and release the circle. Four more. Four. 
Draw the abs up, keep the hips square to the mat. Three. Getting the shakes down, but we're almost done. Two. Obliques working hard in this one as well. Last one. Push into that circle. Awesome. Extend the leg behind. Pulse into that circle for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Just keep your hand on the circle. Flex the foot. Bend the knee. Double the kicks to the sky for ten. Nine. Draw up through the abs. Squeeze through that right glute. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Whew. Well done. Pop that circle down. Bring your hands forward, coming into that pigeon stretch. On the other side, pulling your right knee, shin and foot through. Extending your left leg behind. Stay upright for a moment. Slow down the breath. And then you can walk forward over that front leg. Okay, let's take a beautiful stretch. So one of my favorite ways to use the circle because it can be quite intense. We lie down onto our back, sitting nice and comfortably, and grab that circle. Just bring the pads out to the side now. Extend your right leg up towards the ceiling and just hook your foot into the circle. Take an underhand grip and let's come into a hamstring stretch. So flex those right toes back. Straighten the knee as much as you can. And just breathe here. Open up the chest, draw the shoulders down. Press your tailbone down. You want to get into those inner thighs. We did work them pretty hard. You pass the circle over into your right hand. Bring your left hand onto your hip. Open both legs out to the side. So the right leg out to the side. Let the left knee fall out to the side. You can rest this right elbow onto the floor if that's supportive for you. Keeping the hips as square as you can. Good. Bring that leg back to the middle. Before we do the other leg, bring both feet up into the circle and just pedal out those legs. Big stretch to the calves. All right, let's go left leg for that stretch. So place your right foot down. Still got that underhand grip and just start to flex your left foot back. Straighten out the knee as much as you can. Draw in that circle a little bit further and closer towards your face. Breathe here. You could do this with a strap or a band or just your hands around the backs of your legs. Coming into that inner thigh stretch, bringing the left hand into the circle, right hand onto the hip. Just opening the right knee out to the side as you lower your left leg out to the left side. And you can perch yourself on your left elbow. Breathing into your left side inner thigh. Wonderful. And when you're done there, bring both legs back to centre. Place that circle down on the floor. You don't have to pick it up again. We are done. Bring yourself up to a seated position. Now, of course, you can keep stretching and moving as long as you'd like, but otherwise, we are all done for class. So congratulations, well done, thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend or a family member, and of course, subscribe to my channel so we can keep doing Pilates together. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.